Okay, Randy, what's this about a brew pub that's giving away gallons of free beer? Seriously, Steve, they're giving you a gallon for every pound you weigh. We'll make out like bandits. That's hard to believe. Would you believe a quart? <laughs> I'm Steve McClellan. And I'm Randy Hodgins. And would you believe that would you believe shtick, and many more like it, ruled the television airwaves in the mid-1960s? I would believe that, Randy. But before Don Adams rocketed to fame as secret agent Maxwell Smart, he had some other work to do. Born in Manhattan in 1923, Don was an indifferent student, but it didn't matter because the stand-up stage was his path. After winning first place on author Godfrey's Talent Scouts, using material written by his childhood friend and fellow legend Bill Dana, Don began getting TV bookings, including 11 appearances on The Steve Allen Show in the late 1950s. Here's a taste of one of those shows. All right, men. I'm not going to stand up here today and give you one of my magnificent pep talks. <laughs> I'm not going to remind you of your old alma mater. I'm not going to remind you of the honor and the glory of this school and its great colors. No, I'm just going to remind you of the bets we have on this game. <laughs> when Mel Brooks and Carl Reiner put together Get Smart as a parody of the new James Bond films, they originally envisioned Tom Poston in the lead role, but ABC turned that idea down cold. NBC wisely picked up the show, but gave the lead to Don since he was already under contract as a regular on The Bill Dana Show. Get Smart was a huge hit, and Don's portrayal of the bumbling, yet supremely confident secret agent Maxwell Smart was a big reason why. Audiences also loved the many recurring gags and visual jokes, ranging from a robot named Jaime, to a shoe phone, and to this, the cream of the crop, the cone of silence. In this bit, Smart and the Commissioner, played by Edward Pratt, deploy the cone with predictable results. How much do you know about chaos? What did you say, sir? Chaos. <laughs> what? Chaos. Oh, chaos. Yes, of course. Well, that's an international criminal organization that was founded, oh, I think in 1957. How's that? <laughs> What? 57. After Get Smart was canceled in 1970, Don tried his hand at sitcoms and game shows, but found himself typecast as Maxwell Smart. Ultimately, he was able to reclaim a bit of his old role, voicing the title character in the Inspector Gadget cartoon series. The name may read Gadget, but the voice is pure Maxwell Smart. That's odd. I'm sure the chief said to meet him here. Aha! So there you are, Chief. I must congratulate you on your clever disguise. Whoops. You can find out more about Don Adams and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts, at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening. And until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.